another week and another CTE update. This time the patch is called Quality of Life Improvements. Which means that essentially DICE is fixing everything that's been wrong with the game, from stability to lightning and pretty much anything else that could be broken. Since the console CT is no longer supported, the update is only available to test out on PC. And this is where the problems appeared. As you can see it on the screenshot, there's no one playing CTE. And no, the screenshot was not taken in the middle of the night, it was taken in the middle of the day on Sunday, which would indicate that someone should be playing. Turns out no one does, and this is why the gameplay that you're watching in the background does not come from the CTE. It is a vanilla game, so all the fixes that I'm gonna talk about in the video are not presented here. I believe it's a lot more interesting to watch something happening on the screen and the actual in-game footage other than me running around the empty servers. But to the point, what's different? What got improved? What is the quality of life improvement? The most important thing in this whole update is probably the change of lighting. Have you guys ever come across the problem when you were sitting inside the building and when you looked outside it was so bright that you couldn't see anything? And before anyone says anything stupid, I'm fully aware that that's the way the real life works and it is normal, but in the game, players didn't enjoy it. Majority of players were against it and finally, two years later, DICE decided to tweak it. Sadly not all of the maps got those improvements and only Amien, Ballroom, Sinai, Verdun, Soissons, Lubkov, Galicia, Tsaritsyn and Heligoland got them. I'm quite sure that the whole idea of improving it was adapted from incursions because over there the lightning is completely different. It is 100 times easier to notice your enemies, whether they are inside and you're outside or vice versa. They are always visible and in the vanilla game it's sometimes hard to notice. Other than that, DICE has also improved the stability of the game across all three platforms, which I'm very happy about considering that I've been constantly crashing on PC ever since the February update. So let's hope this update will fix it. And while talking about stability and improvements, DICE has also improved the matchmaking to the Apocalypse maps. Not sure what they did, because they didn't specify it in the update notes, but I just hope that I'm not gonna get much to the NA or Asia while living in Europe. This doesn't make much sense, and it happens frequently right now. One last important thing from a gameplay standpoint that got improved in this update is the fact that tripwires no longer detonate unless you trip them. And no, I'm not stupid, this was actually happening. Ever since the Apocalypse DLC got released, tripwires started working like claymores. You didn't need to trip them, all you had to do is come close to them. And they would go kaboom for no reason. And on top of that, to make the problem even more irritating, it was totally random. Sometimes you would run past it and you wouldn't detonate it, and sometimes you would just walk 2 meters next to it and it would blow you up. There's like 20 or 30 more fixes in this update, but they're all so irrelevant that I don't even feel like I should go through them in the video. If you guys want to see them for yourself, I'll leave a link down in the description and also in the pinned comment. And when I'm saying those fixes are irrelevant, they really are. Those are things such as fix the fidelity of some trees on the river some map, or corrected the rarity grade of the PTFO skins to legendary. This really is the type of stuff that would instantly make you click off the video. And what can I say more? It's great to see DICE still working on Battlefield 1, but I wish that some of those updates were actually applied sooner. At this point, it will be tough for DICE to gather feedback from the community if no one even wants to play CTE anymore. Anyway, that would be it for this video. But before you click off, I got a short announcement. No, don't, don't, don't click off yet, don't. Give me 30 seconds and you can go. I've recently started a collaboration with BF Nations, which is currently the biggest Battlefield 1 community. I'm also creating videos for their channel. And starting next week, we are launching a top play series where you guys can show the best clips of you playing Battlefield. 
if you manage to submit the best clip and take the first place in top place, you will be rewarded with BF Nation's t-shirt. Who doesn't want free stuff? So if you want to join the fun, there are two links in the description. First of them is BF Nation's channel, where the top place will be released. And second link is a submit a clip page, where you go if you want to submit a clip. That's quite simple. And as always, if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe and I see you on the battlefield!